Hello guys, Rob here. The Wax Token Swap is now live and you can swap these tokens up to August 30th, 2019. So in this one, just going to walk through the process of swapping over these Wax Tokens from Ethereum onto the Wax Mainnet. Now if you're not sure what Wax is, let's head over to this new page I just pushed live on eosio.support. This is the EOS side and sister chains where I have a breakdown here of the EOS side and sister chains and if we go down to wax wax is the safest and most convenient way to create buy sell and trade virtual items to anyone anywhere in the world wax has created a full suite of blockchain based tools that allows anyone to trade digital or even physical items instantly and securely to anyone anywhere so wax is short for the worldwide asset exchange and let's go over their token swap so I'm on tokenswap.wax.io and if we scroll down, uh, if you are an owner of ERC20 WAX tokens, follow the instructions in the video above. During the, this process, your ERC20 WAX tokens will be converted to WAX protocol tokens. This will permanently decommission your ERC20 tokens. So they do have a video here, but um, myself and others were having trouble. I don't think it was as clear as it could have been. So let's scroll down and I'll walk through this process here. So first thing we need to do, step one, create an account. Create a Wax blockchain account by visiting account.wax.io. So we'll open up that page. Uh, sign up down here if you haven't already signed up, but I believe I have already signed up here. And then once you log in, this is the page you will see. And on this page, come down to begin Wax token swap. Then you will need to enable two-factor authentication once 2fa is set up agree to the token swap terms and then here we need to get an eos public key for our wax account to be set up on so i'm going to do that through scatter so let me pull up scatter here there we go there's my scatter and this is the new scatter 11 i'm on so this will be the process if you are on the new scatter 11 Okay, so in order to get a key for our WAX account, let's come down here on the new Scatter 11 to generate key. We want to generate an EOSIO key. And this is exporting your private key for the account. So export this key as text. Now this is your private key. You will not put this in. This is for your eyes only. This is your private key. So copy down this private key and keep it in a safe spot. Now in order to get the public key here, we need to go back. This process will be different on the other versions of Scatter, but for the new Scatter 11, the new key we just generated will be at the bottom. So this is the new key here. You don't have any accounts linked to this key. Yes, we just created the key so we can link it to the account. What I'm going to do is rename this Wax Account. So I know what key it's for. And then I'm going to cop copy the public key. So this is the public key here for that private key we just generated. This is the key I'm going to use for my WAX account. So come over and paste that in to the public key option here. And then let me enter my 2FA. Confirm public key. Enter the WAX account name below into your wallet. So this is my WAX account name, 1Q5AI.WAA. So Scatter should refresh this and it should automatically pull it up here. There it is. The WAX account key I just created, now pulling in my 1Q5AI account, 1Q5AI account. Yep, we're set up. So continue. Okay, now we're going to swap our ERC20 WAX tokens. So we have to send our WAX that are on the Ethereum blockchain to our own custom burn address. So this is an address that will be different for everybody. And this is when the tokens hit this account that lets the WAX blockchain know that that many tokens goes to the account name I just created on the mainnet. So let me copy these. Head up to my MetaMask here, or any Ethereum wallet you got. Send to the custom burn address. 68109, 68109, yes. 
amount of wax I want to send the max and you do need ETH in your wallet of course because you gotta pay the ETH transaction fees I'm just gonna pay a slow fee here click next so now I'm sending these over sending these wax tokens to my custom burn address so now of course these tokens are being sent over from Ethereum so it's gonna take a while depending on how large of a fee you paid I paid the low fee so it's gonna take a couple minutes here it's not it's not on EOS IO yet it's not instant transactions yet so once you send them over click continue and then you have successfully swapped your wax tokens please allow up to 30 minutes to receive your wax protocol tokens if you leave your wax protocol tokens staked for three years you will receive two wax protocol tokens for every ERC 20 wax token that you swapped for more information about this Genesis, Genesis Block member program, click here. So I'll leave a link to this uh, Genesis Block member program in the description below. But now we are done. Now I'm in the uh, WAX dashboard, and like the previous screen says, said, it might take up to 30 minutes for the tokens to come on over. So that's how you transfer over your WAX tokens from Ethereum onto the WAX mainnet. I hope this helps some of you guys out there that were having trouble with the videos WAX put out. Check out EOSIO Support's new sister and sidechain page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And also EOS Newswire has the airdrop and air grab notification group sign up page if you want to be notified by email about EOSIO airdrops and air grabs so you never miss another one. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. But that's going to do it for me for this one. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, drop a like. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.